Hey guys, so I just want to quickly mention this uh, pretty quick here as well on this Galaxy Nexus test uh, browser benchmark and stuff like that. I've already talked about it uh, that the new Galaxy Nexus beats uh, the i4s in Java test um, here in the Sunspider JavaScript benchmark test and also in browser mark it is better uh, but then in this OpenGL benchmark and uh, in another like G uh, GL benchmark the pro one and the Egypt one uh, they basically come you know behind um, the iPhone 4s and iPad 2 obviously the iPad 2 uh, it is like a 4s but it's not like down clock the a the a5 processor um, that's you know the major thing that makes those two different uh, the iPhone 4s have a down clock a5 processor to 800 megahertz uh, and the, the iPad 2 comes with this 1 gigahertz and uh, I'm pretty sure that they did it because of the heat or something like that uh, but okay so if you talk about the GPU this is kind of interesting because both the Galaxy Nexus and iPhone 4s is using a GPU from imagination technologies so the one um, <laughs> the, the interesting thing here is that the GPU um, in the Galaxy Nexus is the PowerVR SGX 540 um, while uh, the iPhone 4s and the iPad 2 is using this new one SGX 543MP2 uh, that's also a dual core one um, so the question that I have here is why didn't you know Google go with this better GPU this dual core GPU um, it, it could be because they are focusing more on the processor because uh, we have this OMAP 4460 dual core 1.2 GHz processor um, and Apple, you know, they, they Apple have more of a, like a grid of icons um, so Apple may save it as they don't have to require that much uh, processing um, so they are saving up a little bit on the processing Apple and then they make, uh, you know, spend a little more money on the GPU I think that could be the case um, because I can't really see any other, you know, reason why um, why, uh, why, why, you know, Google and Samsung wouldn't go with a more powerful GPU? Um, because why not? I mean, uh, we have always been having these talks um, that Android has, you know, better specs. That's always been the thing. But with the GPU side here, uh, Android is actually a little bit behind, or actually a lot behind, uh, when we are comparing a normal GPU versus a dual core GPU. Uh, still though from the same th company, but I think it's kind of impressive uh, that Apple have a dual core GPU um, versus this uh, single GPU. And uh, we are probably going to see comments that, oh, you don't need a dual core GPU. Um, is that we saw these comments that, oh, you don't need a dual core processor. Well, it is future proof and it is good for games. We have been seeing that. And, uh, you know, if Apple could do it, why not Android? And I think it could be this reason that it uh, that uh, Android is focusing a little more on the processor than on the GPU because they need it. Uh, Android is a little more heavy to run, uh, takes up a lot of RAM as well. Uh, but I think that's kind of impressive from Apple that they have been uh, really been able to focus on both things, both a dual core, uh, you know, A5 processor, uh, and have this SDX uh, 543 MP2 um, GPU that's also dual core. Um, so pretty pretty cool here if we look at the OpenGL benchmark the pro off screen to win to one test in 720p we can see that the Galaxy Nexus comes behind the Galaxy S2 um, so the Galaxy S2 is actually be uh, you know in front of that one uh, with this Melee 400 GPU and that's also pretty decent GPU. It seems like uh, that be you know GPU is you know it uh, it outruns this uh, imagination technologies X GX uh, 540 GPU. Um, also, you know the processor there. Um, they seem to be kind of the same actually, but uh, the Melee 400, it's it's a strong GPU, and I can't wait to see what Sammy is gonna do next year with their GPU. Are they going to outrun Apple, or out, is Apple gonna you know pick out an even power, even more powerful GPU? Uh, because I I doubt that, uh, or yeah, 
I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, uh, don't really feel like Apple is gonna, you know, bring out quad core devices next year and these new crazy GPUs from companies that we have been seeing, uh, that will be delivering, you know, awesome, awesome, awesome performance and graphics and stuff like that, say battery and all those good things. Uh, but we just have to see it in real life to see if that really is the case. But it feels like we're not gonna see quad core stuff next year from Apple. Uh, but we do know that we're gonna see, you know, six stuff from other people. So it's gonna be interesting actually to see what Apple's gonna do next year. Um, are we gonna see this bigger iPhone 5? And I know I'm gonna off topic right now. Yes. So I'm just gonna end this video right now by saying that the Galaxy S isn't that powerful on the GPU side. Actually, it's it's way behind iPhone 4s, and even that the Galaxy S2 beats it with the Mali 400 GPU. That's that's kind of interesting if you ask me. Um, so credit there to Apple that is going strong there with their GPU um, and stuff like that. Um, so can't wait to see more stuff leaking out and can't wait for the future. See you guys.